Welcome to another video from the farm. Today we're putting together some fly traps. So it's summertime here now, and same as everywhere in the world, it gets hot and moist, so you end up with a lot of flies around. Obviously, because we've got chickens, they come to us. So we like to get them away from the chickens to prevent disease, and also less of a nuisance for us. Now, when it comes to getting rid of flies, you've got two options really. You can buy in your fly traps, or make them yourself. Pretty simple to make, but we've got some of both, so let's have a look. If you've looked at some videos on fly traps before, this is the sort of design that you'll probably have seen a lot of videos on. Very basic, just a plastic bag with a hole and a little sort of cone net inside, and then you put your bait in the bottom, the flies go through the top. Don't work out how to get through the hole, or the majority of them, should I say, don't work out how to get back out. And you end up catching a bag full of flies. Now you can achieve the same principle as that with plastic bottles very, very easily. All you need to do is make sure you get the right sort of hole so the flies can't get out very easily and put a decent bait in the bottom to suck them in. Now, these ones will cost you anywhere near a fiver down to a couple of quid, but we got these ones thrown in free from one of our suppliers as they are trying to sell us a load more of them. These bottles, however, are completely free. Or should I say, the cost of the drink, which I highly enjoyed. Got the nectar of the gods back here, and some fizzy water. These are reusable, unlike these, although you will get a bit messy trying to clean these out. But this, you just have to chuck away. This you can reuse, so multi-purpose, as well as recycling. Now, to prepare the bottles into a fly trap, it couldn't be simpler. Simply take the label off, get yourself a sharp knife or a scalpel, score an X in the top like so, and then just push the lips over. You might have to sort of squeeze them a little bit to bend them in position, and then just sort of flex them open again until you've got the width of a fly's body in the middle there, as you can see. Now, that seems like a big hole, but believe me, a fly will struggle immensely to get back out of this. It can get in easy enough, but because of the sharp edges and the fact that that's literally the body width of the fly, it finds it extremely difficult to get back out because it will navigate its way to the centre there easily from the outside, but because of the way it's positioned, it'll find that position really hard to get to from the inside, as well as when you get lots of flies in here, they'll be constantly knocking each other away from this hole, so they'll pretty much never escape. Once you've got what you feel is an appropriate number of holes for the size bottle you're using here, you're going to want to put some bait approximately a third full in the bottom. Now for this, we're using a load of cracked eggs that I've had brewing in a bucket of water here for the past week or so. Now as you can see, the flies are highly interested in this. And that's only the crust that they're getting access to here. As soon as I crack this open, it will absolutely stink. Stink, and obviously they love that stink. This water underneath is sort of a golden bait to suck in flies. Put in some of that egg solution, and it's that simple. Fly trap done. I'll set up one of these, and let's see how well they both do. We're now 23 hours later. And as you can see, the homemade one, working exceptionally well. There's at least a couple of hundred flies in there already. And the pre-bought one, well, still the same as mid yesterday, yesterday afternoon. About seven flies in there. The homemade one then, overwhelming success. I'm going to go and crank out another six or seven of these now, with the two litre bottles we've got. And I'd highly recommend making these yourself rather than purchasing them. Just make sure you get the right bait because I think that's the key here. This bait is way better at sucking in the flies than the one provided in those pre-bought packs. So even if you buy some pre-bought ones, mix yourself some egg up in water, leave it a while, then pour it in. Perfect bait. I'll take this one over and put it by the chickens. Right then, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful to make some of your own fly catchers for this summer. Reduce the fly population around your farm or homestead. 
Until next time, bye-bye.